you're about to get immersion training that's better than anything that's ever existed. Yes, beginners will get a lot out of it, but people with experience will benefit even more, gaining fluency in all the subtle details that make all the difference. First, let's just dive into Business China. For three years, our cameras have been everywhere. We'll take you to trade shows. I think there's a lot to be said for somebody just going to China, taking their doodad to a trade show, throw, showing it to 20 people, and seeing who can make it well and cheap. We'll see factories run by American multinationals who take advantage of China's low labor costs and visit factories so modern that they hardly need any labor. Well, what's remarkable is it is the only facility in the world where all the materials that are used to make a printed circuit board and the circuit boards themselves are made on this site. You'll go inside small companies run by Chinese entrepreneurs, big factories run by the central government and the Communist Party itself, and see U.S. companies using certain types of facilities that couldn't exist anywhere but China. You'll go inside toy factories, speaking with managers about the quality control uproar. If they can pay higher, we, uh, the factory can, make the, they can keep the certain quality, but if they pay too cheap, then they cannot maintain certain quality. If you could go anywhere in China without a government sensor, you'd go into factories and speak freely with the workers. And you'd go to perhaps the largest corporation in the world, China's energy giant Sinopec, to get their view of the global energy picture. American invade Iraq for only for one reason, for the oil. We'll show you what they say you cannot film in China. The healthcare system, the unemployed, the big polluters, and the black market. We'll take you inside churches, even into Chinese synagogues. You'll see agriculture, architecture, and infrastructure. China's invested in infrastructure, so its shipping is relatively cheap compared to many other uh, locations around the globe. Logistics in China are excellent if you are going from the eastern coast and exporting to Europe or the U.S. Uh, logistics are very, very good. Uh, logistics to the interior are not as good. There are some bottlenecks in rail transport and other things. They have the densest rail network in the world right now, both cargo and passengers, and they need it to get denser. They can't build it fast enough to move all the coal and chemicals and steel and produce they need to. Of course, it's not all about what people think. It's not even about what companies manufacture. It's about what you can sell to potentially one billion customers. In a business of retailing, for example, uh, one year is like 10 years. You know, you you know Chinese China developed so fast. Under these Saturday China operations, we have products in the shoe care category, household category, and air freshener category. We want to make Hagen dazs the, with the image of love, with the image of luxuries. We'll see how the Chinese are capitalizing on the business of sports and sporting new ideas when it comes to raising capital. You'll hear surprisingly candid assessments from government officials. We'll take you onto college campuses, go into people's homes, have a drink in a bar, and hear opinions in the park. America? What do I think of America? Their goals is good, but maybe they should use uh, another method. Americans are arrogant. For more on Chinese attitudes towards Americans and how it affects business, plus a complete picture of China's business culture, order your copy of On the Front Lines, Doing Business in China. This DVD series is presented by The Atlantic and is not available in stores, only on the internet. Go to chinadoingbusiness.com and see what you're missing.